Anytime an allergy is mentioned in a movie that person usually gets killed or poisoned with it. Another similar thing when someone coughs in real life you don't think anything of it, people coughing is normal. However when someone coughs in a movie you already know that person is ill and probably has a serious condition. This is Chekhov's gun. If a gun is introduced in Act 1, it will be used by Act 3 foot. It'd be a weird film if they mention an allergy and it has absolutely nothing to do with the plot. Or a mention of an estranged relative. Welp. We know who comes in later and saves or ruins the moment. Soap opera corollary if a character mentions a headache, they'll be dead of a brain tumor in a week. And whenever there is a guy in a dark hooded suit and breathing heavily he is always the father of the protagonist. It would take a long time to kill me with hay fever. I'd have to sneeze myself to death. Maybe they spray pollen at me while I'm defuss-ating a bomb. And whenever the phone rings there's never just a wrong number or a bum dial. My favorite is when they act like it none of your business and should never be mentioned because it's embarrassing. Like MF we are stuck in a peanut factory and you didn't think to tell us you got a nut allergy. Also, if they tell you what the plan is it is guaranteed to go wrong. If they only tell you part of or none of the plan it will work. Every fucking time a woman pukes on TV unless they are obviously overdosing I feel like the oh shit I'm pregnant reveal is right around the corner, and lo and behold, it almost always is. With a small number of exceptions of when allergies are used as part of the shorthand for being a nerd loser outcast. When a person is being described and they are like allergic to everything it usually doesn't kill them, it's just to other them. Also, occasionally a person is allergic to chocolate and it is shorthand to mean they are sad but resilient as an outsider. I've started noticing small details in movies that I feel like ruin the movie for me. If a character says something like man I can't wait to go home and see my daughter, he's getting killed off. Started ruining movies for myself this way. That's because it isn't necessary to mention allergies that aren't integral to the story. Unless the mentioning of the allergy is a red herring. Or used ironically for some sort of callback or metaphor to add depth or humor. Also bleeding during pregnancy means they've lost the baby. Once I was pregnant I found out how common bleeding spotting is during a perfectly fine pregnancies. Oh and the bloody show later on. Marvel Phase 6. Pepper Potts gets murdered with strawberries. If it's mentioned, it's important. Nothing in a film is on accident. Reminds me of Knives Out, a glass onion mystery. Pineapple, just a pineapple. No, Daniel Jackson in Stargate has allergies and isn't killed or poisoned. If you show a gun in the first act you have to use it by the third. Anyone see Burn after reading? George Clooney's character is a paranoid narcissist who mentions multiple times that he has deadly food allergies. He never once has a reaction and it has no bearing on the plot at all, other than establishing that he's paranoid to the point of inventing illnesses. I have an allergy to $100 bills. If I'm ever given 10 million or more of them I could die. Just saying. Or if it's shown they use an inhaler, they'll need it later in the movie and it won't be available. As someone with pretty severe allergies, it bothers the fuck out of me when people with allergies in movies aren't constantly watching out for them like a hawk. The only time I feel like this was played well was in Parasite where they'd sprinkle peach fuzz on the lady. Like, no one would be able to defend against that unless they knew what was happening. Chekhov's gun. Writers aren't going to mention an allergy unless it's going to be relevant to the plot later. Because good movie is supposed to show you only things that are important for the story. Anytime a post is made in this subreddit, that person usually has no idea what a shower thought actually is. My favorite time this happened was when Kevin Hart's character in Jumanji is like, cake? Nothing bad happened. Then his whole body blows up. I saw a movie where the person was allergic to sesame seeds, and they died from sesame oil in their salad. 
but sesame oil doesn't cause a reaction like the seed something during the oilification process kills the allergens. So the whole movie was a joke. I misread this as allegory and was confused for a hot 30 seconds. One time, Velma's allergies helped the Mystery Inc. gang deduce that there were two people playing living scarecrows. And Velma didn't die. Generally making something obscure known about a character leads to using that information later. Elwood working in a glue factory in the Blues Brothers meant he was equipped to sabotage some vehicles with glue later in the film. It's more or less the same principle. Whatever that movie was where that kid got stung to death by wasps has stayed in my brain. I saw it once when I was like eight and haven't forgotten that scene. I don't remember what it was called, but I think it might be been Corley Culkin that was killed off. This reminds me of the scene from the room where one of the characters mentioned that she definitely has breast cancer, but does nothing with this information. Nothing. I guess it adds to the charm of how bad the movie is, but it's definitely weird to mention something in a movie and not follow through with it in the context of a movie. I had friend from school not very close, but I liked her only two things I remember about her her favorite band, and that she has a peanut allergy. Looked her up a few years ago and she died from eating food contaminated with peanuts, age 24. I still think of her when I listen to Alkaline Trio. And any sneeze or cough is the character being sick for the plot, it's never just a tickle in their nose or throat. I was thinking about the times that in comedy someone who is allergic in shellfish eats it and their face gets super puffy and their eyes red and shut but I guess that's, uh, what you mean by poisoned. You're right though that in more serious movies cough, my girl more serious consequences arise from allergic reactions. I assume you've seen a recent Netflix movie which led you to this assumption. Most characteristics that are explicitly mentioned in books are normally devices for future plot development. So yeah, you're right, it's like when a book mentions a character coughing a lot, be sure that something like pneumonia will be revealed later. When a plot element is introduced it usually ends up getting used. Bravo! Because plots are usually cleaned of things unessential, so some random allergy wouldn't be value added to the movie unless it adds to the plot later on down the line. I have an allergy to girlfriends. All right boys now I just bide my time. Just finish the movie you probably just watched. You don't add a throwaway line like that for no reason. The mom in the room announces she has breast cancer in one scene and it never gets mentioned again. An unusual writing choice in an otherwise conventional film. Anytime someone posts a Reddit thread describing Chekhov's gun without using the term, the top comment will be a definition of Chekhov's gun. Chekhov's gun, if an element is important enough to be mentioned and has no apparent use, it will be important in the future. Right. Otherwise what's the point of mentioning the allergy? Every minute counts in a movie. Time is money. It's storytelling 101. Never tell the audience anything unless it becomes important later. It's worse than that, you just have to mildly sound displeased with something and that means you are deathly allergic and will die before the third act. Stupid pineapple juice. I mean, unless it matters for the plot it is redundant and irrelevant information for a movie. Because irrelevant things don't happen in movies. Everything filmed is relevant to the plot and the alien invaders were repelled, not by the common cold but by wave after wave of Puritan. This is just basic law of conservation of detail. If it's not relevant, why would they mention it? Well that's because narratively it's foreshadowing. It's generally not a good idea to mention something like that in a story and do nothing with it. Nothing should be included in a movie that is not related to the plot. Characters don't have allergies unless they are necessary for plot or character development. In the room Lisa's mother tells her she has been diagnosed with breast cancer and then it never gets mentioned again. Not a movie, but Soma Kazuki's allergies in Lost Judgment never actually do anything to him lol. 